What's up? I'm Kerry. And I'm Didi. Look, this this is um elaborating on the Amy Winehouse thing. Yes. I just didn't feel like I said anything. Right. And um, I I just first of all I I I pray for safe passage to the other side for her, and the other thing is it, it's just. They're not words for when this happens, especially to young people. And and just it's like all these hangers when you celebrity, all these hangers all on and 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 people giving you things because they they feel like if they give you something, then you'll need them and then you use it I I I know it's all her fault that she used whatever she was using and did everything she have, that she did. To me, it, it, it's 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 just too much. I, I'm when I was younger, I I spent a lot of time around celebrities and, and whatnot, and and I saw the leeches. I saw the people who who yes to everything and yeah, I can get you this and. I'm I'm just I'm amazed that after so much time that it's still like that. It's, it's this lady is dead, and and she was struggling. I mean, she was really struggling. My wife showed showed me a picture of her, and she was really really small at one point, and then she looked like she was getting herself back together yeah. and and coming along, and 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 to to pass away and and. And be alone. Well, these stories are, you know, are often seen. I mean, this is the way it, you know, typically happens. You know, we'll go on about our everyday lives, and then you know, you'll see on the on the TV another, you know, person, particularly a pop star or a celebrity, has you know died from, you know, mainly drugs or something, you know, overdose of drugs. It's like I mean, I've been to a lot of those parties, a lot of them, and I s see what what goes on in them. And I, I there there is fun there, but how much fun is it? Right. And and then where do you draw the line? Right? Like where where do you stop? Because this keeps happening. It's like yeah, it's like from the '60s to now, it is still going on where people are dying behind things that they really don't. Yeah, don't it's like you got the world. Them. I mean, she. Had the world in Palmer hands at one point, and and then and then to me, she still had she wasn't finished. Like you know, we've seen Amy in White House, but it's like she still could have done more. Like you know, with her life, she right. she wasn't finished. You know, she had she should be alive doing more music, doing more you know more things. It's like your life was cut short. I, I'm this, really I mean, sad about this. I, I am. I, I, I'm 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 really. But I always wonder, is it a choice? I mean, I know that everything is a choice. Everything is a choice. But are you are you willing to choose, you know, one thing over, you know, other things over your life? Because, you know, I know drugs and I've never been on drugs, never, you know, been addicted to any type of drug. So I can't imagine what, you know, people who have been addicted to drugs or alcohol or whatever, I can't possibly imagine what they go through because I haven't experienced that. But I always wonder, like, you know, it does make you wonder, like, the people that are around you, they know what's going on. So are they really trying to help you or are they just in it for the money? And they're not really but, and, and doing what's necessary. That's the whole thing. It's just like with Michael because, Jackson. Like, it's, just, it's like, as long as he's living, you can get the money. Right. But when he passes away, if you give him too much of this stuff and he dies, that's it for you. There's no more... There's no more free ride. There's no more free trip. And and the same thing with this lady. There's no more free trip when the person passes away. And and nobody... But ultimately, um, it would, you know, it's ultimately, it's 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 her choice, you know? Yeah, it, it is her but choice. It's, it's still not good that there are people that you're surrounded by who don't really care about your well-being. Like, you know... Are these people really in place to help you? Are there, are, or are they just there to, I don't know, hinder you in some way? I don't know. 
it's just but I don't know I mean she could I don't like we said we don't know what the cause is what the cause of death is for Amy Winehouse but it would not be shocking or it wouldn't be crazy to think that it was probably from some type of drug but who who is there you know to who, yeah, guide who, you and help you and really tell you the real deal look you but, need to get your shit together because it always seems like there's nobody die. there to say Bitch, get it together. But all the people, and I mean it, get it then, together. And then you have to wonder if the if there are people in place to tell you that, is it up to them? It's still up to you. Yeah, but you if know? there are more people around you that's like, oh, here it is, is, instead of people oh, look, who are get it together, aiding you and yeah, they're, they're and, aiding you, know, you, they're getting the shit for right. you, they're housing you in the area where you can get it easy, introducing you. It, it's they're not there. It's not them. just. Keep it away from me. Right. Just giving you what you want. And it's not just anybody else's fault. Yeah. It's ultimately your fault. Yeah. I'm just so yeah. sad that over it's and industry. over. Come here. It's always the same thing over and over, especially with these musicians. Over and over and over again, the same thing over and over. Just the same thing, over, over, and over again. I, I, I don't know what to say about this. It, I, it's, it's sad that it always ends up like this. Mm -hmm. And to have so much talent, and to not even just talent, to have so much life ahead of you, to turn around and and just end up in a tragedy. Yeah. You know, it's like before your time. We all gotta die. Yeah. But you don't have to die yeah. prematurely. Oh, look, Michael Jackson, he died at 50. His mom is 80-something. His dad is 80-something. There's a lot of life in that. And, and ahead of him, to, to... Right, he could have lived longer if it wasn't... And, and this woman is 27. This is like Jimi Hendrix. He was about 27 or 28 when he passed away. It's like, damn, why every time? Every time. And then it's younger and younger people, and it's like... Oh yeah, I'm gonna do. I've done everything I can think of. I don't think so. I don't think so. All the all the fun shit, yeah. But there's still life. There's still marriage. There's still okay. family, kids, watching them grow. Uh, and they just my wife um, graduated college today. Got her associate's degree, and I'm like, there's still other shit to yeah. see happen. There's still things, things going on. There's, Life, life moves, and and your your celebrity one day, and the next day you 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 coffee sells, but you're probably happier. You never these parties of these parties are fun, but really, life you want to live a little while. You want to just be here twenty some years and talk about yeah, I did everything I can think of, and then die with nothing by yourself. She was by herself. She had parents, don't she? But in that place where she died, there it's was just, nobody there with her. It's just so sad. It's like it's really just sad to even think about it, you know. I I, I just I, and even even it's now I I, I still it. feel like, like I there's something else that has to be said that I haven't said because I am sad. I am sad for this woman. I'm sad for her mother and father. I'm sad for people who loved her. Because they, you know, they, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're thinking like, we didn't, want, we didn't think that this would end up. In in every situation, you always have to think that the parents or the her loved ones, probably thinking this isn't the way we wanted this to end up. This isn't what we set out to right. see. We don't, we didn't want to bury our child. It's like who wants to bury their child? Just, my thing is like, I brought you here. I don't want to bury it's you. It's just people. Life is short. Life is really short. And my thing, my whole thing out of this is the, is just, you know, take each day, just enjoy yourself, but not in a way where it's it's harming you. Just enjoy the people around you. Just enjoy life in a, in a good way. Don't take anything for granted. Don't, I mean, it's just, it's life is too short. It's too short. Every time somebody... I see, and it, it, it's not just celebrities, it's just people and people that you know, people that you've grown up with, and you see, oh, they died, or whatever, they're 25. It's like, 
all of that should be a lesson to the rest of us who are still here that you know if you're not living your life in a way that is that is you know good for you then maybe you need to change it because you don't want to end up dead at a young age at least you want to try to live as none of us know when we're going to die but at least you want to try to lead a life that will can possibly you know keep you here as long as, as you can you know and not in a die in a tragic way if you can help it it's like it's just a sad thing every time every time same thing with michael jackson same thing with a, a lot of other people it's like and, and i always wonder what what were what were they thinking like what was their mindset like before they died or whatever is it something that she wanted or is it something that she didn't see happening? She just was so caught up, you know, into her lifestyle that she, was, you know, it's just It's, it's, it's just like there was nothing to, to distract you. There, nothing. Look, I got a shirt on my kids. Did. There's nothing extra. I, I, and I ain't going to lie to you. I, I partied. I, I fucking went and did the thing. And I probably did enough for two or three people. I just don't understand that. It has to stop somewhere, and you have to realize that there's more to life than entertainment. There's more to life than being entertained. Sometimes little kids, you know. The simplest thing. Yeah, is it's, it's, what matters the most sometimes. I, I don't, and I'm not going to say I don't get it because I, I, I lived in it and I know what it was about. I saw it, and it seems like it didn't change. It, it, everybody's the same. It, this woman died. And and, and and it doesn't matter what level you're on. No. Michael Jackson died the same way. Is in your house, in the bed that you own, by yourself, dead. I I, I want there's something inside of me that has to be said, but I, I, it's not coming out. And I, I I'm I'm really sad for this woman. I am sad, sad, like really sad. This. I don't get it. I, I really don't. No, that's all I had. I don't. But, you know, there's, there's, too there's much. nothing more you can do at this point. But yeah. just, you know, and then it, it just feels just... like there's nobody ever there that can tell you, get your shit together. And then sometimes, like I say, there, there could be a, a, maybe one or two people. I mean, somebody who's willing to but lose you as wanna, a friend. But then that's what happens. To, maybe to they, get you together. You know, fame like, and power can you know, push that person out the way because they don't want to hear that. Like they were saying with Michael Jackson. He had cut all his family Janet, off. And, and they tried to do an intervention with him, but when they would come to the house, he, he wouldn't let them in. He didn't want to talk. He didn't want to hear that. So sometimes you can try and try and try, but if a person don't want to change and they just want to, they set in their ways and they just, you know, they don't want to do anything differently, You there's nothing you can't make them. And, that, and that's even worse when something, when a tragedy happens because then, the person who tried to help probably feels, you know, a, some kind of way about it because they tried and it just didn't, they, it didn't get through, you know. So it's just a sad, it's really sad, you know. I, you don't expect, you. I mean, you you hear about people doing drugs or they don't have, have drinking or whatever or partying or whatever, but you don't ever think, oh, they're going to die like that. Maybe they'll go to rehab, they'll get past it and they'll move on. But no, when you see a situation like this where somebody actually dies from this type of shit, it's like, it's really, it really, it just kind of, it's a, it's a, it's a wake up call. It should be a wake up call for people who are, you know, living that way. Yeah. And it's just sad. I just think that was just too young. 27 years old. 27. You had your whole life. You still had years and years to live. You didn't have to. It's just like, look, if somebody take your life, that wasn't, that wasn't a plan that was right. something that you could control. I mean, you know, if you couldn't, it was, if it was something that you couldn't control. But to me, this situation here, as hard as it is, it's still something that you can work on and you can actually, you know, not go that route. You can actually get help. You can actually work on it. And, and maybe she was working on it, but like, I don't know. That's the thing. It's just so, it's just, it's sad. Anytime something like this happened, I really, just think it's sad and it's tragic. It's just something that you don't want to see happening, you know. And it's just it's just pitiful. It's just like, what can you do? You know, you sit here year after year and you watch and you every what is it every other year or so long uh, you somebody, somebody just died over something like that. It's, it's like just, it's just ridiculous. It's just but we just had to come back and say some more on this because it, we just felt like we just had to you know these were things we were just talking about and we had to just come and share it with you guys. So that's how I feel about it. 
Anything else you want to address? Gary? No, it, it's just not. It's not even in there to come out. It's like something's holding. Holding. I don't know. But all I can say is just. I have little I kids, know. and I and they and they want to be musicians and 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 great things and and whatnot. And I'm just I'm just sad for for I don't know. I know I I, I wouldn't want to have to bury my child. I, yeah. You know. That's that's I wouldn't want, want something have to so bad. bad. It's because when you're a musician, you really want that bad. I've listened to some cats, and and you know I never wanted to be a singer or anything like that. It's just I ended up being around people who were doing it. But I listen to them cats. They want that so bad. They want the world to love them and, and hear what they can do and see what they can do. And, and they got something to offer. And then they get hooked on this shit because of the, you know, and never and, and get it. Sometimes even get there. And then it's not what you thought it was. And... You're nasty person. That's and that's the person. Get one album out. I ain't gonna mention any names, but I know several cats personally that had one album out that got really famous, and then turn around and nothing, and kill themselves. I, I, no cats got there and got caught up in the parties and never ever had another record come out. Just done. I. I it's too much. It's, it's, I don't know what to say about that. I, thank you for watching. Thank you.